Alright, okay, so, first off, I'm going to show you how to make it look like mine, so you'll have an easier time making uh, any, some of the stuff that I'm going to be showing you how to make. You want to go to Make Slab under Config, then Skin, Make Slab V3.1, and then you just hit OK. And it will turn to the same skin that I have. Then you just want to find two songs. I have two beats that I'm going to be using. Uh, Alright, that one's one of them. And. Oh, and, and I got both of them. So, what you're going to want to do is set a loop for them. This will, if you play, press 32, that's the maximum. And then you want to press 32 on the other one. Alright, uh, and... Then if you notice on the red loop, because the red track's really long, it will only go to a certain part of the song, like, it will probably go... Yeah, right in here, it's not here, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to this little length shifter type thing, and just go around, like, a whole bunch of times. And if you notice, the bar starts to come across the screen up there. You just want to make it, like, pretty long. Anywhere where it stops at, like, the end of a beat will be good. Like, right there. And then you can just play it. And then it starts all over. Okay, and then what you're going to want to do is just reset the tracks by pressing pause twice, which is the stop button. And then you're going to want to just test out what you're going to do with the beats. Like, let me play this one first. Let me put it right here, and then hit play on this one right now. And you can mess out with a fader. Just one song. And just that song. And you just mess around with it. I'm gonna pause both of mine and reset my keyboard, uh, crossfader in my effects board. So, then to record it, you're gonna want to go down here in the little four tabs you have. You have the four tabs that you have. I'm just gonna be showing you the browser and record ones today, so. Then you're going to want to hit config to where you're going to save it. I'm just going to save it as that. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to save the beat, so. Okay, and then you're just going to want to hit start recording or control R. Okay, so. 
I'm um, since I'm been using this for a while and I like to use the shortcuts and stuff. I'm gonna use Control R and start recording now. And if you notice down here, it turns red on the button. So that means you're recording. Then I'm done recording, so I just gotta record, stop recording, and then you just go to wherever you saved it at, saved it under here, and then you just play it, and then you can listen to your beats. And if you were gonna do like other songs, like let's just do do bad day. Let's just do, uh, okay, so I got two songs, and then say you only wanted the keyboard in this, just move this over here, then you move those over there for the rest of that. And then this is what it will sound like. So, and then you can just, like, make this one, if you start the blue a little bit behind, or the red a little bit behind, you can start that one first and then play like, right away, so. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to play it, play. This is what it sounds like. Of course, you can uh, do more stuff with that by going over to the EQ button right here and changing that even more. It's basically the same as this, just separate. So let's see. Let me play it so I can hear while I change it. And then you can just mess around with it and make your own beats and stuff. So, yep. And I'll show you more tutorials on how to do other stuff in here. Oh. Oh. Oh.